G'day ladies and gents, welcome to X Recite. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me. If this has been the first time you visited and would like to view more of my videos, uh, please consider subscribing. I occasionally share ideas and painting techniques and live stream from time to time. And don't forget to click the bell icon, that way you don't miss out on any of the videos as I upload them. Today's video demonstration is a subject I don't normally do and when I say that uh, there's always a few more elements or subjects in my paintings but this was a request for a line drawing exercise from my friend Wendy O'Brien from Artista 365 and there were also a few more of my art friends uh, that were included in this exercise and that was uh, Will from Unmask Art Anne from Fine Art Anne and Elise from Elise Wong Creations. Now we were issued with the same image by Wendy and we went away and had to create a line drawing for this magnificent gorilla. Now I didn't know what the artist did, uh, what, or sorry, what the other artist did. Um, until it was revealed in a video prepared by Artista365 of which I'll put a pop-up card uh, so you can also review and uh, see what they came up with. What I found interesting was uh, five artists, five different artists completed the same project and each of us came up with five different variations. Now I think that's very interesting and it just goes to show how different we all are and and how we would uh, approach when starting out our art projects. So here I thought well I've done this line drawing I might as well finish it so um, so I thought well you know what I'll do what I do and add my little twist on on my uh, on this particular painting as I do with all of my paintings and the one thing that um, had me thinking for a very long time uh, was the color scheme I didn't want to do it like it was in the um, in the original uh, I just wanted to change the color scheme so I thought hmm yeah that's what I'll do now the art supplies I used were pan pastels, pastel pencils, glassine paper, uh, my U-Butte sharpeners uh, and last but not least, yep you guessed it, pastel mat. Um, this little painting is not a large one actually, it's only 30 by 24 centimeters and comes in sheets, well the paper comes in sheets and pads as well in various sizes and colors. And what you'll notice is that my line drawing uh, is very detailed and the reason I did I do this or did this uh, was to uh, was to give me the option of how detailed I wanted my painting to be but uh, you'll see me I actually just go right ahead and go right over uh, my line drawing and ignore my lines um, uh, with my pastels and I just go ahead and I just follow my reference. Oh, and I just, oh, sorry, and I also uh, wanted to mention the tools that I apply my pan pastels. Uh, it's uh, Soft Tools by Pan Pastel and the makeup brushes, which I carry on about all the time. So I just keep chopping and uh, changing between uh, my pans and the pastels, uh, sorry, uh, the pans and the pencils and I do that all the way throughout the painting. And what I actually do here is I basically just outline and just put a base layer of where I want my colors to be and that's what I'm actually doing and of course I do the eye so the eye first and not with great detail but at least it helps me with the rest of the um, uh, of the painting. And I've got to say, I mean, I really enjoyed painting this. Uh, I mean, I have painted animals in the past. I don't do it that often, but I think I'll be painting more animals in the future, I think. Um... Now, 
So out of the five artists, four completed the painting. And I and I gotta say, again, um, I was in awe of their work. Elise created hers digitally. I can never say that word fast. Um, Anne created hers with colored pencil. Uh, Wendy created hers with charcoal. And just beautiful work, just lovely. Oh, I just love them all. Really, really nice. So what I came away uh, with this was, or this exercise, is that we're all very different and the world would be a really boring and very boring place if we were all the same. So I say to you, no matter what skill level um, you are, uh, keep on keeping on and uh, just enjoy art and uh, you'll get to where you want to be. Um, and of course, I, I mean, I'm enjoying the, the progress that I'm at. I'm happy with how I'm going so far and I'm always improving. So I'm going to keep on keeping on and I'll continue to produce art as long as God will let me. But so, uh, uh, so on that note, um, I'll leave you to view the rest of the video. And until then, bye for now.